Hi, welcome to a calculator tutorial from Equator. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri. Now in this video we are going to see how we can use Casio FX 991CW and Casio FX 570CW scientific calculator to solve system of equations of two, three or four equations. I have a full three and a half hours video for this calculator that covers everything from beginning to end. The link to watch the video is below the video in the description or you can click now to watch it. Now let's see how we can do system of equation with this calculator. First let's reset it, go to uh, settings, reset, initialize all, yes, and it has been resetted fully. We can solve two to four unknown equations like this, for example, we have here two unknowns and we are solving it, solving them. So we can solve for x, y, and z in equation we, when we have three equations. So you have, uh, you have to have three equations to solve for three unknowns. Two equations, press home, and then go to the right, again, equation. And in this case, select simultaneous equation, the first one, enter, and then let's select two unknown. And here is our equation, we have to enter it. As you can see here, we have 2x, 4y is equal 10, and then x minus 6y equal 3. We want to find which value of x and y makes this equation true. So we will enter 2, 4, and 10. And we have spot here, that is for the first equation. We can enter x and y is there, we just enter the value that I have highlighted here. So first two and then equal, I'm pressing this e AXE or equal, and then four, and then okay, it goes to the last one, 10, and then okay, it moves to the next one. In this case, one, and then okay, and then minus six, don't worry, any minus will work, and then here minus three, okay. So if I press equal, you will get the answer, like x, that was just an example, so x is 3, y is 1, and we got the answer. So this, this when, when, you, when you see x, that the arrow is down, if I press it again, y is shown and it shows up, you can go back and see it. If you want to change the values, just press equal sign, it will come back and it will allow you, it will allow you to change the values. Let's say three, four, one, five, two, eight. This is just random, might, might not solve, but yeah, solved it. Now let's go for three equations. Select home equation, simultaneous equation, and then three. Now we have three rows. Now pay attention that because we have x, y, and z, and then we have more on the right side, which I'm going to enter. Now for the first one, let's enter. This is, this is our equation. We have x, y, and z this time, but some of them are missing, so I'm going to fix it and show you. So for the first one, let's enter one, okay, and then five, okay, and then for z, one, now pay attention, if I press OK, it goes to the right, and after equal, we have now on the right of equation, we have space now to enter 15, and then OK, it returned back to the first one, and now we enter 3, 1, 6, 20, 3, OK, 1, OK, 6, and then 20, I enter that, it moves back, now in here we have to enter our 0, minus 2, 8, 0, 8, minus 2, Okay, 8, sorry, 8, 0, and then move to the right of equation, and then 8, equal. And then if I press equal, you see x, uh, press it again, y, now the arrow shows that we have more, and then z is 1. And this way you can go up and down and solve for simultaneous equation or system of equations. Now let's press home, general calculation.
Let's turn it on. Button. That's for the first time I turned it on. So what can you do with this calculator? With this calculator, you can do all basic calculation. So you can do statistical calculation. You can do distribution. We can do uh, polynomials such as quadratic, cubic, and quartic up to degree four calculation simultaneous.